Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new glitch players coming today in NBA 2K24, my team, in addition to this path, the all-star Desmond Mason, that is a free card. We're going to take a look at him as well and see which ones are worth picking up, which cards from today you should be staying away from. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Trying to hit that by the end of the month of February, which is going to require around 60 subscribers a day so would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it we got four new glitched players today in addition obviously the path all-star player i guess we'll start off with desmond mason just to touch on him real quickly and then we'll get into the actual glitched cards from today's drop desmond mason is a six foot five shooting guard hyper athletic 90 speed 85 figure ball 97 driving dunk defensively he is well, not great, actually, because he doesn't have clamps, but um, does, also doesn't have brick wall, anchor, interceptor, pick dodger. I mean, there's a bunch of badges he's missing on that aspect. Um, I mean, honestly, if you look at his overall badges, he doesn't have age of three blinders, limitless range, doesn't have bailout, break starter, speed booster, unpluckable. Like, he's missing a lot of important badges. Another card that is just not very exemplary from this Path to All-Star so far. Honestly, most of these Path to All-Star cards have not been all that great so far. Nothing particularly special here, but honestly, I don't think it's that huge of a deal, uh, at least to the for the for the time time being um hopefully the diamonds will be good and hopefully that end pink diamond will be good as well from the path to all-star that is kind of what's going to make or break that promo though to be completely honest not how good these amethysts are although it'd be nice to get a really good amethyst out of these path to all-star cards we've only got two more days of them regardless uh four glitched cards today as well starting off with the Koro, who i expect is a budget beast at the two he's got 42 gold badges hot spots from nearly everywhere a 93 speed 93 three ball he does indeed oh wow does he get every single why does isaac Okoro get every single badge okay so it looks like 2k has just said screw it and now every single card can get every badge unless this is a visual glitch because why is isaac Okoro able to get every single badge in the game that's a little wild okay so he's really good then uh because he already has really good playmaking badges he's already a very good versatile defender who has anchor uh finishing badges on him look honestly very solid as well yeah he looks like a monster honestly he's fast he's an elite defender he's a great shooter he's a great dunker he's a really really good all-around card if his release is solid which i hope it is uh this is an amazing amazing budget card he's so complete very similarly to peyton watson super duper complete now you look at the six i will do no i will say chris paul's post cross is good um it is a good move but outside of that none of these other moves look particularly impressive um uh, for his shot creation ability but that's okay they don't probably really need to be because he's not really a shot creator, but his 3 and D ability is looking phenomenal. And then he is capable enough as a shot creator and a very good slasher as well. He's an incredible Ruby card. That's a really good card. Marching Gortat. Uh, Marching Gortat's ability is his shooting, obviously, in addition to an 80 speed, 87 three ball, 85 standing and driving dunk, 89 or 88. Yeah. I mean, overall looking pretty good so far. I'm not going to lie. Um, 89 interior, 83 perimeter, 83 lateral, 80 eight block only a 36 steal is horrific but at least he uh has pretty solid perimeter interior defensive badges he's a good shooter who does again have limitless range and can get every badge this ability to get every badge is going to change cards a lot uh, i would not recommend adding badges to low tier cards but the ability to get every badge is a huge deal like he could get fast twitch now if you wanted to. He already has great shooting badges, but you could put a bailout or a brick starter on him as well. Um, with 80 speed, 87 three ball, pretty good defense, pretty good inside scoring. Like, I'm intrigued. Now, Rob Williams' base I don't think is great. Uh, I have no idea what the Jason Preston upper is looking like. Um, so we'll have to see what this release looks like. But Gortat, I mean, he's not insanely fast, and, but with the ability to shoot, finish, and defend pretty well... <laughs> He's at least intriguing. I'll say that at the power forward position. Like, I think, or sorry, at the center position, I think he's pretty intriguing because of his shooting ability, assuming that that release isn't terrible. Now, honestly, I'm not totally sure. We'll have to see what the Jason Preston upper looks like. I think that's going to be a pretty a pretty big differentiator, to be completely honest, in terms of how good the card is. Now, we got Peja, we got Draymond as the last two cards. Peja is 6'10", six 6'11", six wingspan, small forward, power forward. Hot spots from basically everywhere. 90 speed, 97 three ball. He's not, oh, he's defense glitched. Let's go. That's a W. I was hoping he'd be defense glitched. He is. That's what I was hoping for here. He's not the greatest finisher in the world, but he does have gold bulldozer, bulldozer fast switch, post drives, and precision dunker, which are the four that I want. Shooting badges are exceptional. Playmaking wise, not terrible either, although he does need speed booster and unpluckable added. 
good. Um, defensively, wow. Hoff Anchor, Challenger, Clamps, Glove, Off Ball, Pest, Right Stick, Gripper. He's got Gold, 94 Feet, Fast Stick, Fast Feet, Immovable Enforcer, Interceptor, Pogo Stick, Post Lockdown. Can need Brick Wall. All of this card's a demon, though. Because Peja, he's 6'10. He's a great shooter, insane shooter, has a really good release. But now, not only is he a great shooter with an elite release, uh, but he is also a phenomenal, really, really versatile defensive card. Six foot ten at the three, uh, able to play the four. You can put him in either position, and he'll be great at both. If you put some uh, some badges on this card, I think he is a monster. I think he might even rival Draymond as the best card that came out today because this combination of size, shooting, and defense in addition to the completeness that he can have badge-wise, the fact that he's even got good speed and solid slashing as well, it isn't a liability in those areas. Like, you're looking at a really, really, really damn good card with this Peja Stoyakovic. I think he might be the best Peja we've seen in a long time in my team considering how good he will be compared to the other cards at his position. I actually think you're looking at one of the top small forwards in my team and then we got point guard draymond who is only 6'6 but a 7-1 wingspan hot spots for everywhere 15 hall of fame badges glitched shooting ability um 18 hall of fame badges sorry but oh this card's insane uh 93 speed 91 excel 91 three ball for some reason he has half bulldozer posterizer precision dunker an 80 standing at 85 driving dunk uh defensively he's absolutely unbelievable of course but also every single shooting badge pretty close to it or at least of the important ones including half agent three catch and shoot and limitless range his playmaking badges are great although he does need handles for days and hyper drive i would add both of those to him and then defensively he is one of the best cards in the game half 94 feet anchor challenger clams glove removal enforcer post lockdown rebound chaser and workhorse every other gold badge uh every other defensive badge in the game is on gold as well he is on paper he is unbelievable and elite slasher elite shooter really good playmaker and incredible defender and will have a very large player build at the point guard position now his release is still on slow that's probably the best thing honestly excuse me i just woke up um that's probably the best thing about this card honestly is the release the fact that the release is still on slow because i do not want this card to have a glitched release i did not want him to have glitched animations personally i am not looking for um yeah I i'm looking for offense i'm not looking for defense anymore i'm gonna be honest and this Draymond card gives you enough defense. I'm glad that he is not incredible offensively because I think it prevents him from being just far and away the best point guard in the game. Uh, while I do believe he still might even have an argument for that because of how versatile and how good defensively he will be. Uh, at the same time, I just think this is this is at least a good thing because it keeps him from being too ridiculous uh because his shooting ability is going to be limited with a release that is as slow as this release on slow is i mean it was really baited in season one i can't imagine how baited it's going to feel now compared to the best releases in the game and i think that is going to hold this card back a good amount despite him being a big insanely versatile insanely complete defensive point guard um overall I don't hate the concept of a glitch Draymond. I don't hate the concept of Draymond being one of the first out of position cards, whatever you want to call him, in game this year, because he is an undersized guy at his position in real life. So I don't think he changes the point guard position too much. At the same time, I don't love the fact that we just keep getting more defense. Um, I would love to see some top tier cards who have elite sigs and an elite release. Please, let's please. It's time for offense. It is time for us to be done. Giving every single card god tier defense and mediocre offensive ability and not changing any animations. Regardless, from today's drop, Draymond looks good, Peja looks good, Isaac Okoro looks good, Gortat and Dezen Mason, eh, not quite so much. Gortat could be decent, but overall, the other three are really, really intriguing to me for how good they could be at their spots. So, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.